Thanks, Gabriel. Hi, John. How are you? Oh, I see you now. Awesome. <laughs> Good to see you. Wonderful. So, yeah, let's just jump right into the topic because we don't have a lot of time. So my first question for you is, how did you get interested in blockchain and cryptocurrency to begin with? Uh, I got led into the world of uh, blockchain and digital innovation through my partner, Akon, and our mutual friend, Brock Pierce. Um, we saw some of the possibilities of it and believed that it would provide incredible solutions for Africa and developing economies generally about four or five years ago. Wow. Okay. So that, that was pretty early. Um, so let's talk a little about a little bit about Acoin City. Um, what are the plans for Acoin City? And and yeah, just kind of tell me a little bit about that. Okay, so um, it's it's Acon City, named after my partner Acon. Uh, the first of them will be built in Senegal, about an hour south of the capital Dakar, right on the uh, right on the water on the ocean, and uh, it's a very um, very innovative, green, smart city, a very uh, forward-thinking development, um, everything built to function with the latest and greatest in tech innovation. Our engineers and architects are all from the Gulf states, primarily Dubai, and everything from uh, from mass transit to the way the stadiums run to things used in, in the construction in terms of things like heating and cooling and uh, to autonomous vehicles. A renewable energy power plant, use of solar and other green uh, renewable energy, uh, particularly solar, um, is all at the cornerstone of, of what's being built. It's a master plan city. It's got multiple areas from a, a stadium to residential to all kinds of uh, industry, light industry, offices, uh, retail, um, et cetera, and obviously uh, leisure as it is indeed right on the coast and is a beautiful area in uh, Bodien, um, just again, south of Dakar. Uh, right. Also about half an hour from the uh, brand new international airport, which is an amazing uh, transit spot for this point west in Africa. Wow, wonderful. So Acoin is going to be the currency of Acoin, of Acon City. <laughs> indeed, uh, right. we will be the digital transaction tool we're in the midst of launching and doing that right now in Western Kenya, in Wale Medical and Technology City. We're actually, we have a, a smaller pool of users that has uh, been putting Acoin through its paces. So it is in use right now at this moment for all kinds of uh, digital transactions, uh, starting our merchant uh, integration next week. There's remittances and later this month we'll be launching the uh, Acoin MasterCard. So a lot of functionality and it's working right now. Wow. And that's being built on Stellar blockchain, correct? It is. It is. We chose Stellar for the primary reason of uh, a shared vision with the founder, Jed McCallum, but also its, uh, its speed and its ability to be relatively frictionless. So very fast, very efficient, able to process a lot of uh, a lot of transactions very quickly quickly and seamlessly so we're excited about it right so i mean obviously it's an amazing idea i'm just wondering if there are any challenges that you guys have seen so far for instance um mobile devices has that been challenging because i know that that region uh may lack with mobile devices has that been challenging at all to use a no. crypto no, so we can you can use uh, Acoin on a ten dollar flip phone. Some of the functionality, particularly as one gets to uh, accessing all of our DAP partners through the Acoin wallet, you'll need a smartphone for that, but not a super duper high powered Western one. There are a lot of affordable options in in Africa, and the uh, the projection is by this time next year there'll be well over six hundred million smartphones on the African continent. So uh, plenty of plenty of people. And then the other piece is for us uh, in Western Kenya, for example, uh, because of M-Pesa, they've been very digital in their uh, transactional life for years now. Uh, and so as we were built to supercharge prepaid cell minutes, which are a major store of value and transaction tool in Africa, um, that's something that people are really, uh, really facile with, really familiar with. Um, but again, just the core functionality, you can do it on a $10 flip phone. Wow. 
Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, and I've also been reading that Acoin is set to become one of the major uh, currencies. Um, so what about regulatory hurdles? Are there any regulatory challenges that um, that need to be accomplished in order for Acoin to actually become a currency in Africa? Well, again, Africa has 54 countries, 54 governments, different ones have different perspectives. Our core markets that we're focused on are, are ones that are a little bit more forward thinking and supportive. Many of them are. There are very few uh, that have protect, protectionist legislation, uh, and yet crypto is still thriving and there's a strong draw towards, towards Bitcoin as a store of value, et cetera. Um, but there are very few countries that are absolutely against uh, cryptocurrency. Some of them just want regulation to avoid scams. Um, so in, in Kenya, there's a certain amount of openness. Senegal, which is a central country for us, as that's where Akon is from. South Africa, another giant market, uh, very supportive. Same thing with Uganda and Rwanda and Tanzania. Uh, Nigeria has some restrictive legislation, but as they were an early adapter, uh, of cryptocurrency, uh, the, you, the citizens were, and it's the biggest economy in Africa. Um, there are some some regulations that one needs to comply with, um, but we're we're built to to match up to those things, and we're not looking to replace any national currencies. We're looking to be an overlay that gives people more tools and services, and pathways to you know banking the unbanked, et cetera. Right, definitely, and. My next question is, I'm wondering, why didn't you choose to use Bitcoin or Ethereum? You know, you created a whole new utility token here. So why not Bitcoin or Ethereum? Uh, for all kinds of reasons. I mean, we, we wanted a lot of functionality that really wasn't there in anything that exists to date. Some of the things that we've built are our own unique proprietary technologies, particularly our atomic swap that has an internal conversion mechanism where users can move freely between prepaid sell minutes and a basket of fiat currencies and some of those major cryptos, particularly Bitcoin and, and Tether. Um, but uh, again, functionality, uh, the ability to build an ecosystem and not be subject to things like the uh, the, the speed or uh, cost, the friction created in in Ethereum currently for all of those tokens that were built on the ERC-20. Uh, for, for Bitcoin, there's a, a huge amount of price fluctuation. And as we're talking about rising economies, uh, it would be a little bit daunting for people to think about something that's worth $20,000, which in many cases is more than they may earn in a year. So by the time you get a couple of decimal points down, it's like, well, what do I really have? Um, so, um, you know, there, there were there were a number of reasons, but particularly functionality. Uh, and as we're going to really build a lot of utility value and trying to drive mass utilization, you know, territory by territory, as we build user bases, um, we, we needed to have certain functionalities that we had a little bit more control over, thus our own utility token. Right, yeah, well, that, that all makes sense. Um, in terms of educating the public on how to use cryptocurrency and even just about blockchain in general, um, are there plans to implement some sort of an educational center in mm -hmm. a company where, you know, the citizens can learn about Acoin? Well, actually, I just thought I'd do a series of articles on Cointelegraph. I know a great journalist over there, and then maybe a bad crypto podcast or two, and we'll spread those pretty widely across the continent. You know anybody that can help me with that? Um, yeah. oh. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we are building out uh, what uh, we call the Acoin Effect Opportunity Hubs with our partners at Effect.ai. They built their first uh, Opportunity Hub in the country of Georgia in partnership with the United Nations. We'll be building our first in Africa in Moale Medical and Technology City in Western Kenya. We'll have several other satellites supporting that one, and then we'll move out geographically starting with that core of Central and East Africa, and then another hub in Senegal, and another hub down in South Africa. Uh, ultimately, by this time next year, our mission is to have somewhere between 15 and 20 spread across the continent of Africa. And in all of those centers, there is absolutely free blockchain and AI education, and more importantly, an access point to paid micro tasks so that users can not only learn, but learn by doing, gain some experience, 
and perhaps find their way towards uh, opportunities in the tech sector. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really exciting. And I mean, there's so much innovation happening right now in Africa with this project there, but are there plans to expand to other regions? Funny you should mention it. Our next big targeted region is Southeast Asia, uh, focused on places like Singapore, uh, Malaysia, Vietnam, Indonesia, Philippines. Uh, those are our, our next big targets, particularly Vietnam, Indonesia, and the Philippines between uh, a young intelligent population and just a geographic spread. So there's a lot of need for digital opportunities, digital learning, digital tools. Um, so very, very focused on Indonesia, Philippines, and Vietnam as our next destinations. Yeah, wow. Um, I know we have a few more uh, minutes. Left, I'm just gonna ask um, maybe one or two more questions. Obviously security and keeping fun secure is very important in this space. Mm -hmm. um, what are the security measures being implemented to ensure that the ACOIN funds are safe and secure? Well, uh, one of our big keys for security, well, we, we've got all the traditional things. We are only uh, traded on uh, right now Bittrex Global and we're focused on major exchanges first and foremost, but everything from our KYC AML with the two-factor authentication, uh, our liquidity and, and market making solutions, um, and the fact that we look to be very, very transparent on our growing pool of users and growing pool of assets. Acoin will never be going anywhere uh, other than expanding uh, geographically, but we're building this to uh, to last. As you know, my, my partner is not only passionate about this, but um, because he is a you know, a visible global figure, um, we have a certain amount of accountability built in. So all of the things that we're building, uh, we, we take those kinds of things from cybersecurity to again, KYC, AML, two-factor authentication, very, very, very seriously. Uh, you know, this is being built. We've, we've been at this now for about three years and our tech has been built in a really unique way, working directly with the team at Stellar, an external set of uh, tech experts that we've brought in and our own internal team. So um, everything has been built to be state-of-the-art, forward-thinking and, and built to grow so that we can uh, take advantage of the Stellar Anchor Network um, and uh, again, very, very state-of-the-art FinTech. Right, and I'm assuming you've already seen some success with the imminent launch um, that's already taken place in the Wally, correct? Oh yeah, the amount of excitement about the functionality of the token is just heartwarming because it's exactly what we envisioned. Uh, as we get through this month and finish our uh, merchant integration and then ultimately launch the Acoin MasterCard that gives those users an access point to all e-commerce anywhere in the world, uh, people are super excited. Right. Um, the Acoin MasterCard, that's really interesting. When do you expect that launch to actually hit and will it first hit in Africa? Is yep. that the plan? Yep, the first users will uh, will be in Western Kenya uh, okay. and then we expand outward, but it's ultimately available to any users anywhere. So, um, yep. Wow, well, that's exciting. I'm looking forward to hearing about the future of Acon City and about Acoin. And John, it's just been a real pleasure. I think we're out of time now, so... Um, so it's been it's been a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, and and we'll do some more uh, with with Akon and Toe. He had a little tech challenge while traveling. The uh, the login was a little bit uh, um, challenging today, so we'll look forward to doing more with you, Rachel, very soon between Coin Telegraph and Bad Crypto, and and perhaps something digital that the uh, SFF can use as well for you and Akon and I. Thanks Wonderful. so much. Okay, thank you, John. Thanks.